Hi, Dave Dahl here with another edition of Pro Tips. Today I'm going to be showing you how to properly store and humidify your guitar. Now one of the things that people don't usually think of when they're buying a guitar is making sure that it's got the proper amount of humidity and keeping it in a general temperature range. We recommend that you keep your guitars in a range of about 45% to about 55% humidity at all times. And if you can, if, it's, if you're at all possible, leave the guitars in the case first and foremost. The case acts as a barrier to the outside world. Even in the extreme temperature control differences, uh, the case will actually act as a barrier and kind of slow the process down so that extreme cold or extreme heat uh, don't get right to the guitar and affect them. To help regulate that humidity, you can always get a hygrometer to actually keep it in the case. Uh, you can attach it to the case lid, you can keep it in the case pocket, you know, anywhere that's really out of the way of harming the guitar. Um, but that'll actually give you a good idea uh, to show what the, what the range of humidity is. There's analog ones, there are digital ones that work really well that actually show the relative humidity over the course of a, about the last 24 hours and the relative temperature as well. There are also products that are on the market that we sell here at the 1833 shop at Martin. Uh, one of them being our guitar humidifier that looks like a little snake. And basically what this is, is a sponge that goes on the inside of here. And it basically just goes, after you wet it, and shake out all the excess water. If it's soft, it's plenty wet. This basically just goes in here in between the strings and sits like that completely out of the way from everything to shut the case. Finally, we have the Kaiser Lifeguard system. This, again, just has a sponge on the inside of it. What I personally like about this one is it allows the moisture to stay inside the body of the guitar just by placing it over like that. Usually the body of the guitar is the part that needs the moisture the most. It's made up of a bunch of thin pieces of wood that you know really can be affected by humidity control. What I really like about this Kaiser Lifeguard system, again, it keeps the moisture inside the body, doesn't allow it to kind of permeate out, because the case will want to rob some of that moisture sometimes, the neck will want to rob some of that moisture sometimes. So The reason I always tell people to keep a hygrometer in their case is because every guitar is different. There's no be-all, end-all, one way to fix every guitar problem. I know a bunch of guys that have guitars in one controlled environment, in one controlled room, and four guitars could be doing one thing, and one guitar could be doing something completely different in that same environment. What you need to remember is every guitar is different. The finishes are different, the woods are different, even if they're made of all mahogany, say. They're all still cut from different trees, so every one of them is going to react differently. Some guitars like it on the lower end of the spectrum. Some guitars like it on the higher end. Most guitars like it right in the middle of that 45 to 55 percent range. So if you can stay right around 50 percent, that would be great. The other thing to remember is a lot of new guitars usually move a lot within the first five years before they get acclimated to the environment that they're in. So for the first five years of your new guitar, you may have to really monitor it with a hygrometer just so you know exactly what that guitar needs.